Next up, Byte SMS. Like QTweeter, Byte SMS is about making your social life easier. Usually when receiving a text, you've got to exit the app you're currently in just to reply. But with Byte SMS, you can reply directly from the pop-up box. Let's pretend I'm playing Angry Birds. Huh. Looks like someone wants their summer Friday. Well, from here, I can just reply. And it's gone. Now I can get back to work. You can also use gestures to open a text compose box anywhere. Here I've assigned a slide from the bottom left to start a new text. I'll have more on gestures later. Byte SMS has a lot of customization options. You can even have it delay sending text from one to three seconds, so you'll have time to take back that ranting drunk text I know you're going to send at 2 a.m. Better make yours three seconds. So for someone who sends a whole lot of texts and is staring at his phone for more often than he should, Byte SMS is invaluable and saves me a lot of time, and sometimes a lot of explaining. Byte SMS is $8.99, you can try it for free for 15 days. Next up is MXTube. MXTube is not as salacious as it sounds. It's really just a YouTube app, but adds one feature not in the official YouTube app. The ability to download videos to your phone for future viewing. And it's as simple to use as the official YouTube app. So, just open up MXTube. Click the magnifying glass. And type in your search term. Click search, choose your video, choose the quality, and it starts downloading. Now I have Pat and Carolyn with me wherever I go. As a side note, to watch MXTube downloads, you must use the MXTube app. You can't sync these videos back to your computer. Although there are ways to move the videos from your phone to your computer, it requires some apps and knowledge that I won't discuss here. MXTube is free from Cydia. Finally, we have Activator. This new settings option lets you map finger gestures and buttons to different apps or functions. It makes starting frequently used apps a whole lot quicker and easier. On my phone, I'm using Activator to map a bunch of apps I use a lot. Like a swipe across the information bar brings down SB settings. Look it up, it's awesome. A short swipe from the bottom left brings up the text messaging box. A short swipe from the bottom right brings up the multitasking drawer. A short hold of the home button brings up notes. A double click of the home button brings up music controls. Now, I know you all think that iPhone already does that, but in the new iOS 4, Apple changed the double click to the multitask drawer, and I really hate it, so I changed it. A short hold of the lock key will turn on the LED flash. Now, that requires a free city app called Spring Flash, but now I have an instant flashlight. Next, a click of the volume button and the top of the screen will bring up the camera for those times when I see Justin Bieber on his freaking Segway. And finally, my favorite, a picture of the home screen, will bring up Angry Birds. Here in the Activator menu, you'll have the option to assign touch gestures or button presses. You can have them work anywhere, assign different gestures to different locations, like the home screen, in apps, or in the lock screen. Activator is an awesome app, and it's a huge time saver. Best of all, it's free and it can be found in Cydia. Well, I hope this gets you started on your way to mobile freedom and happiness. There are a whole bunch of useful Cydia apps I didn't discuss in this video. Just search the web and you're bound to trip over a ton of them. Have fun and happy jailbreaking.